All right, ready? Yeah, we're good. Oh, well, let's do the big opening. So yep. the show is called Let's Play This Game. <laughs> <laughs> so we're... <laughs> Like that. We're pretty proud of it. We're very, uh, proud. very proud. How'd you come up with that? Well, we'll talk about it. It's a long story. Brainstorm, yeah. Okay. Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play This Game! And today we have the very lovely and talented Shelby Young! Yes, Shelby! Shelby, you do so cool things. In your life, it's overwhelming. You do voices for cartoons and movies. Okay, I was looking at your resume, Shelby. Oh, uh, thank God. you for applying. But uh, right here at the top, it says you do so cool things. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Yes, so those things are so cool. Uh, Great, things, you're hired. Thank you. <laughs> so what we are doing today with our good friend Shelby and special guest is we're playing a game called Red Flags. And you've never played. I haven't, but I've experienced many red flags in my life. Yes, yeah. let's talk about it. Um. <laughs> no, we don't. Really talk about it. The way this game is played is simple. Each one of us is going to be someone going on a date, mm. and the other players are going to create the perfect date for us. But mm. after that, they're going to add a red flag to it and do something really bad, like they poop lasers uh, when they laugh. That's pretty cool. Uh, I'm not really mad about that. I mean, but every time they laugh, they're destroying chairs and pants and. Perhaps. And potentially killing people. But could I aim them? Like I'd know when they're gonna laugh? I mean, you just hold them like yeah. this? I don't know. Do you know when to kill them? <laughs> Imagine having to be aware of every time someone laughed. Like that's an awful existence. And it's a red flag, clearly. So uh, we're gonna get started, but. Um, There's a twist. There is a twist. What a twist. We are using an expansion for red flags Ooh. called Fairy Tale Red Flags. And um, it's gonna be great because there's gonna be fairy tale things in it. And I felt like what better expansion to play with our friend Shelby, who does wonderful cartoon voices and very cool things. And uh, this would lend really well to that, I think. Oh, I'm very excited. <laughs> That's the only voice I'm gonna do. And we've that done that. <laughs> Thank you, I love that. You startled me. <laughs> okay, so here's how we're gonna start off. Uh, everyone's gonna get four white cards and four red cards. Keep okay. them to yourself. And um, for the whole time, we don't want to know about it. Okay. And we'll start with Joe as the single. Oh, unless, we, unless we want to start with Elliot. Mm -hmm. Let's start with Elliot. Let's start with Elliot. Elliot is the oh, single oh, person. Oh. Great, let's pick a date for we Elliot. We also let's spiced see. up uh, the fairy tales. We threw some of the mature cards into, so it'll be a fun little oh. mixture of spicy. 18 and sweet. plus. And if mm. you are not over 18, mm. you can. All right, Joe, do you have a date for Elliot? This is for Elliot. This okay, is for Elliot. For Elliot likes to have fun. I like to have fun. Elliot likes to eat good food. I like, do like to eat good food. Elliot doesn't care about small people. He told me that. <laughs> what? <laughs> you told me that in confidence. He hates small people. What, like, are but you trying like, to no, no. <laughs> no, I don't. Well, let's cut to a clip of Elliot saying that. I hate small people. See? You oh, just. Well, dang. <laughs> you got me. You got me? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Elliot, you like to have a good time. Yeah. I know that you like to learn new things. Thank gosh you're going on a date with a professional surfer. Thank gosh. Whoa. Wow. You're going to wow. learn some things. You're going to go maybe hang 10. Do you like that? Or 20. Are you into that? Righteous, yeah. Into, dude, are you really? I think you would do Do you like that? that? You go surfing Like lesson? if you were a senior Steve girl? Know. Steve genuinely needs well, to know right all now. the cards, yeah. Well, no, I'm just talking about the professional server. Like, is that, are you like, well, that's pretty cool. Like, do you like that? I think it's interesting. Okay. Well, don't worry, because when you're on dry land, you're gonna be a little hungry from working out in the sea all day. They can make a delicious soup with a stone. So you're gonna this eat is a fairy tale. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what fairy tale is it where they I make soup know. with a stone? Is it in the stone itself, or like they take the stone and they put it down and then there's soup? And it makes soup. Is it any soup you want? Yes. Wow. Yeah. And this professional server is fit, you know. It is a fit yeah. human being. Well, the stone soup is kind of creepy to me a little bit. <laughs> but it's but it but but we are using fairy tale expansion, right. which means I'll look this up. in this it's hypothetical a very date, stone. No? It's yeah. a stone. In this hypothetical date, we're in a fairy tale world. So yeah. this is normal. Maybe it's just any stone. So they don't have the stone with them. Oh, like they just pick up a rock? Just pick up a stone and make soup. And it's just in their hand. It just The, the stone just becomes the soup. There's like no bowl or anything. It's just, here, put the stone in your mouth. Oh, hot chowder, wonderful. Yeah, all right. That's neat. The stone soup is a European folk story in which hungry strangers convince the people of a town to each share a small amount of their food in order to make a meal that everyone enjoys and exists as a moral regarding the value of sharing. Ugh, morals. You're gonna become a better person with this surfer. 
Okay, I like this. This is okay. fine. All right, great. Good job, Joe. <laughs> you know, no, great you know. job. I'm very proud of Shut you. Shut up! Hey, Elliot. Hey. Here's a wonderful date for you, dude. Are you ready for this? Yeah, man. What do you got? Oh, man. I'll tell you. This person that you're going on a date with, and you're very single, and not engaged to any particular woman in real life. This is a date. I see. Thank this you. is a date in a hypothetical game fairy tale world. <laughs> this person, Elliot, that you're on a date with, guess what, man? They own a vineyard. Oh, well, that's it. pretty that's neat. That's really fucking cool. Ooh. But can they surf? Hey! That means that they're like, maybe they're a little classy. Maybe. They're a business, maybe a business person. Could maybe. Be. I mean, maybe or maybe maybe vineyard. they just own it because it it, it pat was passed down maybe to them. Maybe it's a curse. Well, you know, we don't know that yet. We don't know that yet. And Here's another cool thing. I'll just tell you as an aside, so you should know. They have a mirror that knows the future. Damn it! Wow. Yep. Mm. So you don't wow. have to look at it it's if a lot you don't want than to. Stone soup. Certainly, I would say that. I mean, I am absolutely flabbergasted, Steve. That seems like such a good time. Great time. Uh, yeah. I'm yeah. interested. And even though this is ultimately terrifying that they have a mirror that can see the future, mm -hmm. you don't have to look at it. No, I don't have to look at it. You don't have to look Does at it. Does the mirror, is it like the Shrek mirror where there's a man speaking out of it, or is it like you just see the future through it like like a Harry Potter style? Well, I kind of see it like the mirror mirror on the wall Snow White mm -hmm. one, okay. which is kind of similarly based off the Shrek one. I'm sorry. Oh, yes. I, yes, yes, yeah. yes. I thought you were going to say Shrek was based off of Snow White, which we all know is incorrect right. because Shrek came first. But Shrek also, yeah, even in the 1920s. Yes. All right, Shelby. You got a good date for Elliot? I have a terrible date for Elliot. Um, well, first, okay. this, <laughs> no, 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 I just, my cards, we'll see. This date, they have animal friends to do all their chores. Oh, that's cool. Wow, that's really neat. And they could also do your chores, too. Yeah, I bet. Right? Okay. They're all friends, probably. probably. So all this, kinds of animals. This person is, has animals that can do their chores. Yeah. I love it. That's I cool. think that's really right? cool. Laundry, you never have to do it again. The yeah. bunnies will do it. It's pretty tight. Right? Yeah, and that's so cute. I know. Right? Yeah. Think of them. And also, they, if they're friends. dirty, they can clean up after because they, yeah. if it's dirty. Yeah. They're also <laughs> a professional lover. Damn it. Whoa, wow, wait, a professional lover? A like, lover? Yeah, but only for you. Oh, the good ad. Oh, right okay. there at the end. Is that just like a bit. pickup line? Hey, I'm kind of a professional lover but for, only for you. you. You're a prostitute. You're going to sing and make animals do things. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why does a professional lover have animals that can do their chores? Because they're also an animal lover, and the animals feel loved in return and therefore want to help out. So they're a professional animal lover. And not in that way. Are you sure? Let's go to yes. it. <laughs> <laughs> This is great. I like this a lot. <laughs> I think this is pretty cool. I okay. Think this is really all right. Cool. Well, here's the deal. Oh so now, mess so it up. now we have all of our wonderful uh, cards dates. out here. The dates are perfect. Elliot has a lot to choose from here. But now it's time to throw down some red, red flags. flags. Hey Shelby, I think yeah. it's really cool that you set my friend up, Elliot, with your friend. Um, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I like that she sings and makes animals do things, and I like that she could. She's a professional lover, but she's not that much of a professional. I don't think you told him the whole story because he's never ever gonna have an orgasm while he dates that person. Whoa, oh, wait. ever. Is that a threat? Ever. <laughs> That's a fact. You're never gonna have an orgasm. That's never. a fact. So I don't know how much of a professional lover okay, he well, is. I have a question about this red card here. Mm -hmm. Like he physically will never, like even if he's by himself, I'm talking about you as if you're not here, even if he's by himself mm -hmm. while he's dating her. Yes, I guess so, yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. Like just being, just dating that person will eliminate orgasms You're gonna be backed life. up, but you know what I hear is good for that? Soup. Some stone soup. <laughs> stone soup. So now I give you one. Yes. All right, yes. well. Now good luck, because this is a pretty good one. This is looking this is. like the Steve's candidate killing. right now. All right. Owns a vineyard. They own a vineyard, sure. Future yeah, mirror. They have a future mirror. Which that is, is slightly cool. terrifying. Terrifying, but cool. But, Just like life. But, oh, which one do I go with? <laughs> but also, unfortunately, Ooh. they're a poop chef. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Stone what? soup's sounds <laughs> pretty good right now. <laughs> oh, the no. The only thing that Stool they soup. will Cook for you. Is poop. Well, that doesn't Many mean. Different ways. Hold on. Yeah, okay. Hold on. Many different ways. Hold on. Oh, that disgusting. doesn't mean that the only thing oh, they're gonna oh. cook is poop. Yes, it does. It doesn't mean that. It means that you could eat out. You could yeah. go to Todd Jack in the Box, or you could go to. But they're gonna be just constantly complaining about how it's not poop. Yeah. I, mean, like, oh, I could have made oh. this poop at home. Yeah. 
God damn it. That's really funny. And they probably smell Way like poop That's all so they probably funny. smell like poop all the time. Of course, the whole place smells like poop. The poop vineyard? Shit. You think the place smells like poop? Maybe that's why they have a vineyard because they bury the poop and that grows the grapes better. Wait, yeah, a well, minute. some people don't bring their work home with them. Does the they? hyphenated aspect of I that do. card mean that actually it's a poop monster <laughs> that also happens to be a chef? <laughs> Is this the fairy tale one? Right. Oh. It could be ma- this could be a person which Made hey, even matter. better. Yeah. No, this if is just this person is a big turd. I'm not going to choose Steve's card. <laughs> no, this is not the this is not and the yes, fairy tale one. Turd. Yeah. No, this is just dirty red flags. So it just means they cook with poop. All right, hold on. Hold on. There's one more. Yeah, Try right. and ruin this. <laughs> Listen, I know we all love Ma'am. to watch someone Ma'am. go through an incredible feat of surfing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think it's. I think we all think it's marvelous. We do. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. It's a mar- How do they stay up on the way? I, 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 I didn't do it. I, 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 I couldn't do it. Who doesn't love stone soup? <laughs> and and that sounds perfect. But here's the thing. A nice long day of surfing. Want some it's in the when in, in the hot, summer heat, all you want is some hot stones out of their hands. <laughs> after riding those waves. But yeah. unfortunately, here's the deal: they're still a virgin, which is fine. That's not there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. Um, but if you don't count bestiality, <gasps> <laughs> stay away from my animals. <laughs> I really wished that I could have done it on that this one, one because it was that so. One. Perfect. Perfect. <laughs> but guess what? You didn't. I didn't. I think I gotta not do that one. <laughs> <laughs> and I have to absolutely I'm not doing the person who why. does poop. So Shelby, you do you do win because I will just this won't last. What? You're never gonna have an orgasm? It won't last. But if you knew you were those going, are traumatizing. Hold on. <laughs> if you knew you were going into yeah. a relationship where you weren't going to have an orgasm, yeah. you would still pursue because that relationship. Because I would go, I would sit you down and I'll go, because Steve, you don't know what my other options were. One <laughs> okay, of them was someone. Who only shit. makes poop, yeah. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right, yeah. all right. Elliot gets the point. I mean, it had a lot of wine, but it was with a side. It was Shelby. It was <laughs> all right, Shelby got a point. Shelby Way got to go, point. Shelby. All right. all right. Shelby? I'm going on a date. You're going on a date. Wow. And we're going to assemble it for you. Okay. And we hope we do well. <laughs> It'll be better than the ones I've been on, I'm sure. <laughs> we'll <laughs> see. We'll see. Yeah, all right. Uh, Shelby? Yes. I know this guy. Oh. And this person, and they are really cool. All right. Um, they're actually well, they're <gasps> the fairest of them all. The fairest of them all. Oh, oh they're the fairest of them all. They're the Wait, fairest. Of they're them all. the fairest. It's yeah. a lot of pressure. Oh, uh-huh. yeah. doesn't that make you feel a little insecure? Not at all. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. All right, think well, about it. Maybe if it does, <laughs> you know, if you start to feel a little uncomfortable, uh-huh. maybe a little bit like you need to unwind. Mm-hmm. The great news is not only. Are they the fairest of them all? They own a hundred horses. <gasps> okay, that's so a that's lot of first horses. of all financial security, well, as well as a whole zoo. It's only a horse zoo, a but it's still horse. that's a lot of horses. Okay, you know I like the fairest of them all. Horses scare me a little bit, but Uh-oh. I could did I say learn horses? <laughs> what I meant? I don't know. Very yoga horses. instructor. All right, all right, all right. My turn. Okay. Hey Shelby. Yeah. Hey Steve. Ah, uh, cool. That's, That's one. Cool. What do you what think that, that it was? It sounds like a dog. Well? And now it's just silence. <laughs> yeah. Kevin's I think somebody be... was peeling out. Yeah, but why did it sound like a slam? Yeah. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Dude, you know what's cool mm-hmm. in when you go on a date with someone? Uh-huh. That they've got style. This is very true. Style is very important, I think. It is. It means you kind of care about your appearance. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's nice and you look good. This particular person mm-hmm. apparently uh, wears a sexy red hood everywhere. Ooh, okay. Everywhere? Yeah, yeah. Everywhere. It's, just, it's just their look, you know? They, it's their style. You know, like right, the okay. weekend has his crazy hair. Yes. So this is this is <laughs> this guy's thing is sexy red hoods. Everywhere. everywhere. Okay? Everywhere. Every, yeah, it's what about cool. in the shower. Everywhere. 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 Mm. Despite the fact that it is a sexy red hood everywhere. Yes. <laughs> they also can grant you three wishes. <gasps> Damn it. Oh, okay. All right. You can all hang right. on to those as long as you want. You can spend them all right away. Could Isn't I wish for him to take the red hood off? I think you, maybe you could, yeah. I mean, you're already walking into a situation where you know you're not in a good place when you gotta waste a wish. That's all I'm saying. All right, well, there you well, go. Joe, see. what do you got? Well, um, this bachelor oh. is uh, oh. Prince Charming in the streets and Prince Nasty in the sheets. Ooh. So, uh, he likes poop. <laughs> it means your needs are met. No, that's right. It means they take care of business in the sheets. In the sheets. But outside business. of the sheets, when, when we're Prince Charming in the streets and with you, 
This is an important quality for all humans looking for a relationship. Affectionate. Isn't oh, wow. afraid to make you feel loved and appreciated oh, this is a good one on a too. daily basis. This is a I word mean, that you It's not three wishes want. good though, right? Kind I mean, of everything it's not a hundred horses good. Not a hundred horses <laughs> good. All right, so we have our wonderful suitors here for okay. you, Shelby. And now it's time for us to <laughs> really. Please, what are the red flags? Because um, I can never see these in real life. So. Well, here, I'll go first really quick. Since you love this Prince Charming in the sheets so much. Mm -hmm. Uh, uh, Prince Charming in the streets. Sorry, in the streets. Sorry. You love this nasty streets. man. Yeah. It also turns out that not only are they a bridge troll, they're also a Twitter troll. Oh, no. And all they do is troll people on Twitter oh, all day. Yeah. And they're tro it's a troll. It lives under a bridge. Mm, okay. All right. That's a, that's, a, that's a red flag. He's bringing so many tolls home to you. <gasps> You're rolling in <laughs> tolls, girl. Yeah. And tolls so many good trolls. riddles. Oh, true. Yeah. I do like riddles. You like brain teasers? Yeah. I brain do. Teasers. There you go. High okay. stakes brain teasers. Okay, mm. okay, okay. He's not off the table yet. Well, he is under the bridge, so technically off the table. He's but, you know. You would know where to find him. Right? All right, well, who's, what's happening next? What's happening well, in all of this? Well, um, I will put a red flag on Steve's. For I feel the most threatened by that particular date scenario. It seems really, really cool and good. Um, <laughs> In addition to granting you three wishes, as well as wearing a cool, sexy red cap around, this person Damn. does collect uh, dumpster babies. <laughs> um, okay. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that means. I don't want to so, think about it, but whatever it is, they have a I lot of I believe it's He's discarded. saving lives. Oh, wow. Okay, Mr. Perfect well, over here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, do you feel like, what, do you, does collect make you think? <laughs> Make you think save? I guess it didn't say save. I did it. love children. Yeah. Yeah. Collect them. This is why my therapist tells me I'm too optimistic. Yeah. <laughs> what Check if one of my out. wishes was that he would stop collecting the dumpster babies? Yeah. Well, that's I mean, why you're, you're in a good place. Yeah. There's some unselfish t wishes you're making there. Like well, the no last more one. hoods <laughs> and no more babies. Like let's. All right. All right. All right. Um, Joe. All right. Well, watch me ruin Mr. Perfect over there. Who? Who is the, the fairest, fairest of them all and owns 100, 100 horses. horses. And they it's all just too many horses. together live in a Dutch oven. Wait, like a poop? Like a poop blanket. Like a fart blanket? <laughs> like a fart you live blanket. In a fart Couldn't blanket. it be an actual Dutch oven? Those both, are things. Both oh, suck. So you can't fit in a Dutch oven. Well, if it's the dark, mature one, then it's certainly the gross version of what it's that is. It's the poop is. blanket. So you're, it's not so poop, it's just a fart. It's farts. So, well, it's but fart, matter. What are farts but just the precursor to poop? Uh oh, these are all awful. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but which one is least awful? Well, here's the thing. I already don't want horses. Well, I'm sorry. That's okay. I'll know <laughs> next time. Well. Bridge and Twitter troll. I gotta go, unfortunately, as much as I'm not a fan of Twitter trolls, I lived through the Borat era and I survived, so. <laughs> Wait, I win? You win. Wow. You won. Right. I don't want dumpster babies in my closet. I mean, why would you? Why oh. would you? You won. Well, all wow. right, Joe. I know, he's shocked. Great job, buddy. Oh, oh I'm not that. Oh, why? Is this for me? Two no, no it's me. You guys are making a date for me. Oh, I like that. Please all right. find me. Oh, Woman that I'll love. Please, Kevin. Kevin. Steve, are you want on a date? Oh yeah, please. Put me on a date. Well, uh, I've got a friend that I was wanting to introduce you to. Oh. Um, totally awesome person um, that owns a magic carpet. <gasps> Okay. Wow. I'm really like, cool. Owns some magic carpet, but I'm in. I mean, and, uh, and he's wearing it right now. <laughs> <laughs> Guess what, my friend? Mm -hmm. um, this person comes with friends with seven awesome dwarves. Oh, that's cool. Awesome. Oh, it dwarves. does say awesome on there. Oh. Awesome. They're well, like the best. So man. we can do like even dopey. We even can do, dopey. We can do a Hobbit Halloween costume. Group costume. I mean, I think you're and making some assumptions about them that might be a little offensive. I'm sorry, you said they're awesome, right? <laughs> so obviously they like Lord of the Rings. Okay, I've always wanted to do a little person Blues Brothers band. Do you think they'd be down for that? I mean, they're pretty awesome. I don't like small people. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is great. Yeah. This is, I love this. Yeah, great well, job. One-on-one -on -one time is fine, and group time is even better. That 
person sounds cool. Sure. Yes. All right, fine. I'll give them that. The carpet, awesome. Whatever. Yeah. Awesome people. Maybe friendly. whatever. It's like a magical flying. Oh, flying carpet flies. Carpet. That's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. But also think about the smog, the air pollution mm. you're flying through, just going straight in your mouth. Plus, it's kind of scary. There's like no seatbelt. Right. So, like, How are you? If I fell, right. Over scary. the 405 on that yeah. thing. And kind of have a heights mm. thing too. All right. Well, my friend, who I think you would like very much, mm -hmm. has a pocket full of magic beans. You like beans, <laughs> right? Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, like I like garbanzo beans. It's any beans you want. I like, like jelly rockets. beans. I like jelly beans. Yeah, they have jelly beans. Yeah, what like. those magic beans do, we don't know if they're like they ne can nefarious grow beans. Beanstalk, Maybe. And then you can meet giants in the clouds. I'm sorry? You can meet giants in the clouds. And that's, okay, well that's cool. Your crazy friend is talking about <laughs> cloud giants. I mean, at least meet them. Wait, so yeah. you have a friend who can make a beanstalk that grows to the clouds and I could go up and meet giants? Yeah, and if you think about it, that means the giant food, giant houses. Okay, yeah. that's tight. Yeah. Okay, you know what? In this giant world, if there's the if there's a possibility for me to get a big like if the giant if giants have iPhones, then I could finally have a giant iPhone. I've always yeah. wanted one. Yeah, you could step on it. Like you know those pianos that you step mm -hmm. on? Those like yeah, it's like that. <gasps> like in big? Yeah. yeah. Let's cut to that clip. <laughs> But also, not only this, they also uh, live in a magic castle. Not this, the, the person magic with castle. the beans lives in a magic castle? They do. Not the magic castle, a magic castle. What's in this magic castle? Everything. Wait, it's not That's the magic castle no, in it's Hollywood. Not. No. Uh, there are magicians That's that live cool in the magic castle, castle this magic castle. What's However, magic about it? Uh, the castle itself. So is it. Every room is something different. Um, oh, so it's like, like a room full of gold. Um, mm, and also magical. a magical room full of a pool of jello. And oh. um, Whoa, yeah, and anything hilarious. you want, actually. Anything magic. And cool. they always have magic beans. They're, just, they're a very magical person. She's a good friend. She's very magical. So, her, so her pocket is full of magic beans. She's got a pocket, got a pocket full of magic beans. I thought ladies don't <laughs> have pockets. Uh, you know okay. what? We do now. Oh. Yeah. All right. Sometimes. <laughs> Congratulations on your new pockets. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. Steve. Yes. This person uh -huh. has a bunch of adorable pet fairies. I fucked Aww. up. I fucked Isn't that up. nice? <laughs> yeah, a little Adorable weird. pet fairy is kind of strange. Now, I wonder. A bunch? If that is a bunch. How much is a bunch? I'd say a gaggle. Baker's oh. does. Okay. Easy. So 12 or 13, 13. fairies? Mm -hmm. Something like that. Yeah. Now, here's no, the thing. I can tell I'm not totally already. selling you. Here's the, the here's I'm going to get it for you, all right? This is also the funniest person in the entire <gasps> world. Whoa. OK. All right, but that's a bit of pressure. Oh. We have a winner. This pressure. That's a bit of pressure. Ooh. Certainly, but I would love it so much. I just want to laugh and laugh and laugh. Right. Assuming those fairies are dope, you're in a good place. Yeah, but what if those fairies are not dope? What if those fairies are more like how fairies are supposed to? Supposedly in the real world, well, where they're malicious. You know what I'm like Adorable can also be malicious. Or like the willow fairies. Yeah. The willow fairies are like, or like in, in Labyrinth, the one that bites mm -hmm. uh, they, Sarah. You just got a bunch of adorable fairies biting you all the time. Uh, pet fairies. So, are they trained? I think pet implies some sort of domestication. Do they need to be Let's flown? cut to a cut. <laughs> All right, so red flag time. I think it's all open right now. I'm saying this is a dead heat. On Elliot? Okay, Elliot's got <laughs> the, wait, wait, wait. the funniest person funniest in the world person with a bunch of fairies. In this world <laughs> that has like a, a bunch nice of adorable pet it's fairies like nice who can't stop bragging to everyone about being a grand wizard in the KKK. Oh, <laughs> no! Oh, she's so funny! <laughs> oh no, but she's the funniest person! Damn it, why are they all so shitty? Uh. <laughs> oh. all right, this is also the funniest person in the entire Whoa. world. Whoa. Okay, right, we have a winner! I just want to laugh and laugh and laugh. Oh no, I just met the funniest person on the planet, and they're awful! Turns oh. out that yeah, I tell you that is a red card. I just got, really, uh, I just got depressed a about a fake person. <laughs> That's a real red. That's a real flag. red flag. I mean, it just is. This is just good advice here on this video. If this ever happens in real life, run. It's a red flag. Run. I yeah. mean, Get certainly I, it ruins the entire. It is done. I am done with that person. That's what it took. Yeah, what are you, you kidding? Mean, what do you mean that's what it took? Like, it, of course, that's what, what else it does took. It need to take? Everything leading up to that was fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Hatred and bigotry. Uh, that's where I draw the line. <laughs> <laughs> that's, where, that's where I'm done. Your friend owns a magic carpet as their awesome friends. They're a dope group. 
That sounds cool. There's but so you know what? Fun. This is cool because they play music and stuff too. They have like little concertinas. Yeah, you keep saying things that you like about it. They go. Like oh, da -da oh, da -da well, guess what? You know what? They also they have a superpower. Yes, that's cool. Our awesome. superpower is talking shit about you. Aww. Yeah. What do you mean it's a super bright? Like, they're really good they're at it? They're so good at talking shit about you. All joking. Them Jess. and their friends. All yeah. of them. Just buddies being yeah. buddies. Just talk shit about me? Like, you leave the room, room and they're just like, that guy? <laughs> but you have him. so much fun. Do you think when they you're talk shit about them. me when I'm there, too? They might. Yeah, yeah that's a, it's just a superpower. Like, no, it's, like it's a, not Jess. They like actually, the what they say is they, they when they're talking to other people, they go, you know, Steve uh, brags to everyone about being a grand wizard in KKK. Oh, well, I would never. They just have I would never. Rumors getting spread because they're talking they're shit about they're you, they're you all the time. Talking. Yeah, they're shit talking constantly. Yeah. Oh. Yes, magical now, beans, magic, magic beans, castle. Magic castle, very lovely. Uh -huh. One small thing to get past is just that they collect STDs. <laughs> As many as they can get, gotta catch Wait, them all. Is but what do they, they collect say. them like in a vial? On yeah. their they put them in a vial. Are they a scientist? Sort of like in Jurassic maybe Park, I think, with the shaving cream. On their person. No, maybe they're like studying them to try to cure all of the STD. Like, there's, oh, yeah, there's one in here that I would never in a million years, and it would ruin the day. <laughs> and I will not do it. You have I, that card. I don't want to read it out can loud. Can we see it? It's <laughs> just not. <laughs> Like all the time? <laughs> Jack Dyer. <guess. laughs> um, That's hilarious. Kevin, it says, calls your mom <laughs> to her wow. face. Okay, <laughs> all right, all right. Magic beans. So, I don't, I don't, I do not tolerate shit talking, bullying, I don't tolerate that. Get out of here with your magic carpet and your seven douchebags. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. Oh. Uh, <laughs> sorry, boys. Oh. Uh, Elliot, yours is okay. the, the worst <laughs> possible thing. <laughs> and I'm going with STDs. <laughs> STD and you get an STD. <laughs> I just last one. one. All right, Joe. One. Guys, I would appreciate it if you would court me with right. your hypothetical Show dates. Okay. Who's going first? Uh, I'll go first. Please. And then you. Are and then you Ellie. part cat? I know. He's just kneading. <laughs> what do they call that? Kneading. Kneading. Biscuits. Me making biscuits. Making biscuits. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. I put mine on top, so do those ones. There you go. I discarded my cards because I was done. So there you go. There you go. There you go. Elliot eating. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, Lord. hi. Uh, I'm Joseph. Joe. It's very nice to meet you. Uh, tell me about yourself. Well, Joe, I, I I'm Steve, and I have a friend <laughs> who wants to date you. Sorry. I mean, yes, and I am here to date you, Thank and you. Uh, I. Just a little about me. Mm -hmm. I just, you know, I'm not bragging. I'm not trying to brag, but I. I create shelters for the homeless. Oh. Like it's, it's really one of the biggest see. issues today. Yeah. Like I think people don't realize how important it is to focus on this continued homeless issue. And I just feel like this is what I've dedicated. Yeah, I, I appreciate That's somebody that runs towards the problem as opposed to away from it. And I, I really like Thank where you. your heart's yes. at. Thank you so That's much. Very nice. Also, um, this is kind of weird. I know it's kind of weird, but you know, we live in a magical world. Mm -hmm. um, also not really a brag, but I can spin straw into gold. Well then, so, it sounds like you could just straight up solve that yeah, I don't think uh, you, uh, problem like right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, well I do, I kind of, as, okay, well oh. between you, and, so here's the deal. <laughs> between, between you and me, they're, they're connected. You know, I make most of my money selling the gold mm -hmm. and then I use that to create shelters for the homeless. Mm, yeah, I feel like, okay. I like where your heart's at. Thank you. I do, I do. I Thank do. you, I'm magical. Well, on that same altruistic vibe here, um, my friend is actually a superhero. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. they are a superhero. Oh, that's cool. What kind of superhero? Um, what's your favorite kind of superhero? Oh, I'm kind of open to anything. Vanilla, I've never, I've never superheroed before. Spider-Man, Spider-Woman, but it's Gwen Stacy. Uh, oh, well, that's actually kind of cool. Loves, uh, Modok is the guy that um, floats around in the chair. Is a big face. Got big head. <laughs> that show's really funny. I don't think it's really a super. I, don't, I actually don't think that's a superhero. No. It's a super no. villain. Yeah. Also, mm, ooh, ooh. I have two. I have Tell two. me more about She's yourself. like Charlie's oh, Theron. In she also is best friends with a genie. Dang, that's oh, pretty that's cool. cool. Yeah. They're best friends. They're best They're friends. Best Which friends. means, you know what? She's good at uh, superheroing, and also she's just good at being a friend. Question. Do you think they hooked up? 
probably yeah, at some point. What was that time in college when that Christina yeah. Aguilera song came out? Right, but, right, mm -hmm. right. Oh, yeah. yeah. Maginina in a bottle, ba and they just felt the moment. Yeah. Okay, no, Lady Marmalade. Oh, that's the... <laughs> 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 wow, cool. Great cards all around. Joe. Yes. My uh, thing is that what I do uh -huh. is I happen to be the most physically attractive person you have ever seen. Whoa. Wow. Uh -huh. Your you whole know, life. I thought that so, when I saw you today. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I mean, that's not only that, you probably thought this too, Shelby. I can also rescue you from literally any danger. Wow. So wow. Oh, Even myself. So kind of a superhero. Exactly. Myself. Kind of a superhero. Wow, it seems like someone's caught kind of me a little bit here, but you know. Whoa. Right. Man, these are some pretty dope dates, y'all. That sounds really, Elliot's is really cool, but can I tell you something about that Please, person that I actually know? Yeah. They actually shit out of their mouth. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to see that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you have to kiss that. Uh, about this superhero who's friends with a genie. Oh no, you gotta do, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just so you know, <laughs> you can't uh, date them until you join their suicide pact. Oh, <laughs> wow, okay. Yes, I mean, but if it's like some point in the future. Yeah, she's she's invincible. She's a superhero, so it's fake. It's just for show. No, she knows how. She has like a kryptonite. Yeah, every thing. superhero knows how to kill themselves. <laughs> uh, maybe it's like something that... And you know what? She's trusting you with that information in the suicide pack. Right, but then we have to do it. One day. Unless the genie's all I right. don't know have if I... Have you seen Midsummer? I have. You know, they choose when. <laughs> yeah, well, you know what's so interesting about uh, about uh, Steve's person here? Yeah, great heart, altruistic, great humanitarian. Yeah, of course, except that, uh, sure, really likes humans because she keeps the severed heads of all their exes in a fancy glass display case. Okay, but see, that's the thing. Could the thing worse. about Could this yeah. is, is that if you don't what if be, he if, becomes an ex? But see, but that's, that's the thing. Point. If you don't become, if you don't So then you're become, too terrified to leave because well, they're gonna sever your head and put it in a glass case? so sweet, they're humanitarian. They build stuff Homeless people, that's really sweet. Mm. It's very sweet, it's very sweet, yeah. But also murder. Lots yeah. of murder going on there. Lots of, so there's fear if I'm in this relationship. Maybe I can accept the heads, but I don't know if I'd ever be able to accept that one of those heads could be could mine. Could be you one day. And then I would feel trapped in the relationship, and if I wanted to step out of it and get away from that straw spun into to gold, step away from that, like, helping the homeless, I couldn't. <laughs> Actually, yeah. you know what you could do? What could I do? You could kill her before you, I could before she does. Before yeah. I well, do. Well, if you're gonna murder, you may as well murder yourself and date a superhero. Might as well. Yeah. Listen, hey. kill two birds with one stone. Right. Kill two dudes with one stone. Okay. So, uh, man, Elliot, it's so visceral. <laughs> Uh, I didn't choose that one, Joe. I know, but it's and so And I think good. we can get past it. It is kind of crazy they shit out of their this mouth. This chose me. That's the weird part about that. <laughs> okay. It is a red flag. <laughs> so the, the, the suicide pact scares me because I don't know when the timing is. If it's like an old age thing and we're like, we're going out it together. It can't be a pleasant. Yeah. It's not a pleasant. Good. But it's These probably, are not pleasant. It's probably, it's probably not pleasant. pleasant. And quite honestly, dating the superhero would be cool. And hanging out with a superhero and a genie would also be cool, but I would also feel very insecure. I would feel like I'm not living up to this group that I'm I'm hanging out they're with on a daily. But you know what, Joe? You, you are. They're you, different. You are, dude. You're, you're a enough, superhero. Joe. No, I, I you're just a wouldn't father, feel. You're, enough. you're a husband. Joe, it wasn't you're your a fault. business you're owner. It's not your fault, you're a good this, friend. You're just saying things that sound like things people say that don't have kids. <laughs> no, this is. So that's that's scary. But I could spin it. Maybe I can do a wish thing with this genie, which I would have to find him somehow to be able to get those wishes. Yeah. No. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, but yeah, that's that's yeah. a that's a pretty far bridge. And then I think the spin, I think I'm gonna go with physically attractive mouth poo poo caca person. Really? Because uh, what? They can rescue should. me from any danger. And there's gonna be a way that they can rescue me from the situation of having any ill effect from having poo poo mouth. Yeah, but they're gonna come over to you and go, I love you. And you're gonna smell. No, 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 even just I talking mean, I, to you. I, Joe, I would, don't choose just, this. Don't give me the What point. I'm saying is, is even just. So you're not giving me that. They no, can't save me to, from no, the hell seriously. of dealing with poo poo mouth? If you're talking. I care about you a lot, and I don't. You're gonna smell that. That's what I'm breath. saying. If you're talking to them, they're gonna smell like poop. <laughs> they can save me from poo poo mouth, though. No? Well, no. no, they can't save you from poop. I don't know if that would be considered a danger. That spin doesn't work? That's not really dangerous. No! It's like an it's inconvenience. Disgusting. It doesn't work! It's an inconvenience. Yeah. Their breath smells like poop, and that's that! Joe, I hate to tell you this, I think you should kill yourself. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I am a, no, no, are you kidding me? That's worse than... 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm assuming I'm gonna be able to fix it somehow. Yeah, That's what yeah, I'm going yeah. with. All right, fine. What's Woo! the final tally here? Also, I can join a suicide pact. Who got three? Wait, hold up. What the fuck? <laughs> Last point. I can join a suicide pact and then not. No. Well, I'll just not. <laughs> I know. No. You have to follow the card. You can break Wait, a contract. I just I not. got two. I didn't get three. Who won the first round? Bond. Guys, <laughs> Shelby is the winner of Red tell you Hell it this yeah. is not this is this is really wonderful that our guest is the winner we could have not planned this i mean we could have but we didn't oh man did you plan this no yeah no, no. shelby All shucks. why don't you take a few minutes to tell people where the hell they can find you when you're working on what you're excited about maybe some places where they can find you you can find me in my bedroom uh, no you can find me at uh, my twitter is shelby underscore young <laughs> <laughs> my instagram is shelby h young and uh i'm on TikTok talk as well, Shelby H. Young. Um, but yeah, I'm on the internet. <laughs> yeah! And we love you, Shelby, and thank you for love coming. You thank you for joining us. This was so fun. And guys, thanks for joining us on Let's Play This Game! Oh. <laughs>